hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday. Happy Fitness Friday. But today is our Fuel Up Friday. Say hello in the comments below. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm just going to see if I can share this out. Sometimes technology is willing to work with me and sometimes it's totally not. So we'll just, we'll see what happens, right? Um, all right. Say hello, hello. It is our last day of our challenge, but I, um, this doesn't mean it'll be the last day of me. Of course not. Uh, today I'm so excited because we are talking about how to fuel up in your everyday life. And if you're just tuning in, welcome. This was our driver's daily triple play challenge, the big three. My hope is that you continue with the big three as you move forward beyond National Truck Driver Appreciation Week, beyond these five days with me. Because when we focus on our health, our health is wealth. And without our health, we ain't got nothing. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you want to argue with me about. If you don't have your health, zero. The money won't matter, the truck won't matter, the lifestyle won't matter, the job won't matter. If you don't have your health, you got nothing. Take it from someone that nearly lost her life, her health, to recognize how much important it is and all of the aftermath that comes with trying to get it back. Uh, let's start today strong. Hello, hello, say hello in the comments below. It is Fuel Up Friday. This is our last day of our Driver's Daily Triple Play Challenge. And we're focusing on fueling up and deficiencies that you might be seeing in your body, in your life, that are telling you something. Yes, our body is incredible. It is constantly giving us signs that like, hey, you should pay attention to this. Hey, something's not going on. And we brush it off, right? We've kind of been programmed to like, just do it. Just get up and do the grind and not pay attention. And then all of a sudden we're broken and we're like, where did this come from? Our body has a natural internal alarm system and you can get good at listening to it and nobody has to know in order to save yourself a lot of health issues later on. So that's what we're talking about. But let's review our big three. So all week long, we've been talking about the big three. That means physical, mental, and spiritual health. Why spiritual? Because you're not just one dimensional, my friend. You are 3D. So our physical, our physical today, I want you to practice some deep breathing. The simplest, easiest breath that you can do is in through the nose for four and out through the mouth for eight. and see if you can deflate that belly. So fun little tip, pay attention to yourself. You can actually check yourself right now. So when you inhale, your belly should get bigger. And when you exhale, your belly should get smaller. Some people are breathing backwards, can, which can be connected to their anxiety, can be connected to higher levels of stress, even stomach issues. So check in to make sure that when you're breathing, when you're breathing in, your belly gets big. When you're breathing out, your belly gets small. Just a fun little thing to pay attention to. So that's our physical. What have you been doing that is physical this week? If you're following the 15 minute wellness method, that means 15 movement minutes movements, minutes of on purpose movement. What does that mean? That doesn't mean you walking back and forth to the truck. That doesn't mean, you know, whatever it is you're doing during the day. This is on purpose movement because it feeds us mentally, which is number two in the big three, your mental. How are you feeding yourself mental, mentally nourishing yourself? For some people, when they reflect back, all they see is the bad. I did this wrong. I did this wrong. I suck at this. This person doesn't like me. Today, I want to challenge you to reflect back on the good things that you've done. Make the longest list you possibly can in your head or on paper of all the things you've done right, all the things you've done well, with or without gratitude from people and start to see that there are a lot of wins in your corner because it's easy in the moment to feel like life sucks. I've been there. I, I, I still kind of get there and it's like, hope, got to get yourself out. But you've had a lot of wins in your life. But sometimes there is a part of us that doesn't want us to see them. And you got to ask yourself why. When I look out and I watch people like purposefully punishing themselves, like you can feel it. You can feel it. You can see it on them. 
that doesn't get you anywhere. That doesn't help you gain anything in life. Not to mention, not even enjoy the present moment. And having been there, I perfected punishing myself for about a decade. I want to encourage you to reflect back today on your drive, at home, you know, when you're off, like write in your journal, whatever it is, and try to list. Try to list at least 10, at least 10. But if you can keep going, cool. But notice how you feel when you start mentioning to yourself all the great things that you've done. Notice how you internally feel. Like if there's another voice going on in your head going, no, you didn't, that's dumb, but you didn't deserve that, but this person said this. Like notice if there's this second voice. Notice if there's the second voice. I always called, called that my addiction mind because I had two voices in my head. I had my healthy mind and my addiction mind. Um, and my addiction mind was always like, Arr. so pay attention to that and silence that. Just say it anyways. And then the third win in our big three is the spiritual. Is the spiritual. How can you feed your soul today? Listen to an uplifting podcast, pray, meditate, uh, you know, engage with somebody that really helps feed your soul, whatever it is. If we pay attention to these three categories every single day, we are going to be on the road towards a happier, healthier version of ourselves. But today I want to talk about fueling you, fueling you, because our body is giving us signs constantly. Our body is telling us when someone isn't good and we kind of get this weird vibe from them, but we just like deny it because someone's like, oh, you're like overreacting. But in our, in our gut, we feel it. You know what I'm talking about? Our body is super, super smart, but also... There is this internal natural alarm system. Our body is constantly speaking to us when we are deficient in things, when we are deficient in vitamins and minerals. Disease is just a fancy term for deficiency. When you have disease, you have deficiency. Think about that for a second. When you have disease, you have deficiency, and you've probably had it for a really, really long time really long time. And so the worse the dis-ease, the worse probably the deficiency. Because our body is made up of vitamins and minerals, fats, proteins, carbohydrates, amino acids, like all of these things, right? And if you take one piece away, there's going to be dysfunction. Just like you can't drive your truck if it's just like, well, I don't think we need that spark plug. I don't think we need that that rim. I don't think we need that axle. Like, it's not going to work. So why is it that we don't look at our body the same way? So we're going to talk about some key deficiencies in our bodies and what are the signs and how to maybe start thinking about correcting them. Obviously, go to your doctor. Get your levels checked. You know, consult your healthcare provider. Like, this is for entertainment purposes only. I got to say that. But let's get to it. There's a ton of them. I'm just picking four here today. Let's see you lost me. I'm just picking four here to focus on because otherwise we're going to be here for like ever and ever and ever. Okay. So let me move this back. That might help. Like I'm literally doing this on the fly, you guys. Okay. Let me fix this. Hold on one second. Okay. So let's talk about deficiencies. Hi, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about deficiencies in our body how to fuel ourselves up, what are the signs and symptoms that we might be deficient. Remember, disease is there's a deficiency, okay? And we're not acknowledging the deficiency. So if you're taking a little orange bottle, but you're not acknowledging the deficiency, that is never going to resolve itself, okay? And so go to your own research, talk to your medical provider, you can ask for blood tests, you can ask for your levels to get checked, all that jazz. And that will give you the concrete evidence that you need in your everyday life. But let's talk about four areas. Hi, Ashley. Four, four vitamins and minerals that most people find themselves deficient in. There's a few others, but this video would be way too long. And what are the signs and symptoms you might be having? And what are some foods that you can clue into to help improve that? Now, there are some of these that I take supplements for high quality because, well, I wrecked havoc on my body for more than half of my life and I'm paying the price for it. Mm -hmm. So I need even a higher dosage than what I can just normally get from food. But food is always fuel when we're eating good food. Okay, so let's get to it. So first, first one that we're going to talk about is potassium, okay? 
Okay, so the first, the first one is potassium. All right, so potassium is the first one. If we're deficient in potassium, if we're deficient in potassium, we could be finding ourselves craving salty foods. If you're like, oh, I just want that bag of chips and I got to add salt to everything. Mm, 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 mm. That could be a sign that you're deficient in potassium. Again, you can do your own research. You can go talk to your medical provider. You can get blood tests done. You can figure that out if, in fact, that is true. Sometimes we crave outright the source of potassium. So if you're craving bananas, like, oh, I just need one every day, your body could be telling you that you need more potassium in your life. And so potassium, when we are deficient in potassium, our levels, we have a recommended daily allowance or daily amount that we need in order to function. Every single organ in our body, every system in our body needs fuel. And it's a different combination of everything to fuel those organs. So when something starts failing, pff, hello, you are deficient in what makes that run optimally. Okay? You have to refill what is empty. And so you have to ask yourself, well, where do I get that? Well, from its actual source. Okay, so potassium is the first one we're talking about. If you are deficient in potassium, you're craving salty foods. There's a few other uh, vitamins and minerals that you sometimes crave salty foods for. Potassium is often salty foods. Or you're outright craving things like bananas. Okay, and if we're deficient in potassium, one of the signs and symptoms, remember, our bodies, this is not random. You don't just wake up one day and it's like, oh, I have numbness in my hand, and then 30 years later, I've been having numbness in my hand for 30 years. Hmm, that's random. Like, unless you damaged a nerve, like, that's not random, people. Wake up. And so deficiency is muscle weakness. Muscle weakness, if you're like, man, this just feels like out of the blue. Like, no, it's not age. No, it's not this. A constipation is a big one. And I know a lot of drivers struggle with this. Irregular heart rhythm. You'll see a lot of these because these are core vitamins and minerals. You're going to see a lot of it connected back to the heart. And so if you are deficient in potassium, you're just tuning in. We're talking about fueling your body. Okay, so I'm craving salty foods. I'm outright craving a potassium source, which is bananas. I'm feeling that I have muscle weakness, constipation issues, heart irregularity. Like all of these might point to a deficiency in potassium. So that's the first one. What can we eat? Bananas, potatoes, like actual, like don't like, I'm not talking about McDonald's french fries. Those are not potatoes, people, okay? Uh, lentils, avocados, those all have high amounts of potassium that can help replenish and refuel that deficiency. Remember, deficiency creates dis-ease. Replace and refill the deficiency. Your dis-ease may start to dissipate, reduce itself. Now, sometimes there's permanent damage. Sometimes other things will happen. It's like a trickle effect. Now we have 20 things wrong because I've been deficient in these things for years. Uh, but that's potassium. The next one, the next one is vitamin, vitamin D, okay? The next one is vitamin D. So if you are deficient in vitamin D, you're craving sweets. If you're, if you're like, I just have a sweet tooth hope, you might be craving vitamin D. Your body might be deficient in vitamin D. So what are some of the signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency? If you're like, the cravings thing is not really my thing. I don't really notice that. Um, fatigue. Fatigue is huge. A big part of the population, I live in the Midwest, so the further north you go, the more likely you are to be deficient in vitamin D. And interestingly enough, there is research behind this. I'd have to go back and, and find it, but you can Google this. Is Depending on where geographically you were born, that can often dictate those deficiencies and, and what it is based on where you were born and where you're brought up and where your genealogy is from. So just because you moved to Arizona doesn't mean that all those things are magically going to correct itself. So kind of cool. Um, anyways, vitamin D, fatigue, huge, 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 huge. So many people suffering with fatigue and vitamin D is a huge deficiency. Um, bone pain, like your actual bones ache. You know what I'm talking about if this is you. Uh, moodiness. 
So irregular mood. You're just kind of like up and down and up and down and up and down. And you're like, what is going on? Like, oh, it's menopause. Oh, it's hormones. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's my boss. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's vitamin D. Um, what are some sources that we can replenish our vitamin D? So first off, you can get vitamin D from sunlight. But the best time to get vitamin D from sunlight is at first light. And so if you're up early, at first light, 15 minutes, skin, you need it on skin, is going to help start to nourish and replenish that vitamin D. So at first light, that is the best time to get vitamin D from the sun. But what are some other sources? Fish, tuna, um, egg yolks, mushrooms, those are all very high in vitamin D. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about fueling you deficiencies in your body that might be creating disease and how to replenish them. Um, and so that's the second one, vitamin D. Uh, the next one is calcium. That's a big one. So calcium is the next one. And if you're deficient in calcium, if you're deficient in calcium, um, you might be noticing numbness and tingling, especially in your fingertips. That's a big one. Uh, my dad quit smoking after like 54 years, amazing. And he has chronic tingling in his fingers, like really, really bad. And what do you know? He had blood work done when he quit smoking and like zero, zero calcium in his body, like nothing. Um, and so he's been working to replenish that. So if you're deficient in calcium, you might be craving meat and cheese, like dairy. Like if you have this like high urge to always be eating dairy, your body might be telling you something. Like our body isn't stupid, you guys. Sometimes also craving meat and cheese may also be connected to iron. That is a really easy level to get checked. Um, especially for women, I would definitely have your iron check I levels checked regularly um, because that can be something that's very deficient for women particularly. Okay, so we're talking about calcium. I'm craving dairy if I'm deficient. This is a possibility. It's not everyone, okay? These are just things that we have seen, all right, over time. You can do your own research. Um, numbness and tingling in the fingers. Abnormal heart again. Abnormal heartbeat again. So you're seeing this theme in, in, in the heart interesting right interesting and look at our foods now depleted nothing in them they're garbage hmm coincidence I don't think so and so how can we replenish calcium in our bodies um, obviously the default is high quality dairy okay not highly processed heated dairy if you're a dairy folk everyone has their own thing I believe everyone's body if you follow blood types all respond differently to foods just try to eat dairy in the raw or as, as minimally processed as possible so you're actually absorbing that nutrition. But other, other sources of calcium, broccoli, broccoli has cal uh, calcium. Dark leafy greens, one of the best ways to get your calcium is dark leafy greens. Almonds and seeds. So next time you walk into the truck stop, steer yourself over to the trail mix aisle, but don't get trail mix, that's full of junk. Look for like a bag of nuts and seeds, like they, oftentimes there's like a little mix combo, but just flip it over and make sure that the sodium content is as low as possible. Because when they salt those, you're like, oh, but you just said craving salt. It's garbage salt, that's table salt, it's iodized salt. You don't want that in your body, okay? If it's maybe salted with sea salt, okay, that's all right, we can do that. So calcium, nuts, seeds, dark leafy greens, um, dairy in its rawest form as possible, unpasteurized, unheated, if possible, uh, so that we're actually absorbing what it is that we need to. Um, all right, last one, last one. And this one, here's a fun fact. Here's a fun fact. This is the number one mineral that we are deficient in in America. The number one, okay? What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Magnesium. This is one of the most deficient minerals that we are all struggling with and it needs to be addressed because magnesium also is a cofactor for other vitamins and minerals. We can talk about that another day to help your body actually absorb them. Um, so magnesium, if you're grabbing magnesium, this was a big one for me. Um, I was having irregular heart palpitations. I was having um, uh, like rapid heartbeat like so many uh, muscle leg cramps like oh my gosh it was it was bad um and so also not all magnesium is created equal so if you're taking a magnesium supplement 
Um, there's eight main forms of magnesium. If you're going to take one, make sure you get one with all of them in it, not just one. Um, but we can we can talk about that. Message me if you're you want more on that. Okay, magnesium. If you're deficient in magnesium, my chocolate people. I love chocolate. I need chocolate. I just need a little bit of chocolate after dinner. Um, women during their cycle crave more magnesium, or sorry, crave, crave more chocolate. That magnesium starts to drop. So trying to balance that out, your body is telling you something. And so what am I seeing physically if I could be deficient in magnesium? Again, consult your doctor, get blood work done, all that jazz. These are signs and symptoms, though, that you might want to pay attention to. Because a great doctor asks what when you go to the doctor? What's been going on? This is the stuff you should be telling them. And if they're like, oh, that's hogwash, go find someone else. Go find another doctor. They're not for you. So magnesium constipation. If you are constipated, magnesium. The coffee is just a default. It's a, it's a cover-up. If you're like, oh, I'm regular every day. I have two cups of coffee. No, you're not. No, you're not. Coffee is making you think you are. And actually, it's making your bowel pulsate in a rapid way that your body normally doesn't. So now you're going to be crutched to that. You have to have it. Or then now you're constipated when you're not, which is not a good thing. So magnesium is going to keep you regular. Not like regular, like explosive, okay? Like regular, like my body is doing what's supposed to be doing, okay? Rule of thumb, food goes in, food should go out. Food comes in, food should go out. And if that's not happening, there's some dysfunction going on in your body. It's not aging, okay? Bull crap. It's your body telling you systems aren't working right. Okay, so magnesium. We're talking about magnesium, the most deficient mineral in America, in our bodies. Our soils are depleted. We're not getting these minerals that we need. We have to start making sure that we are fueling our body just like we do our truck. If you are deficient in magnesium, you might be a chocolate monger. You love chocolate. So if I'm deficient, what am I seeing? Constipation. Okay. Um, Headaches, like I'm talking like I just can't get rid of these headaches all the time. I would really encourage you to consider looking into magnesium. That is a huge sign. I know dozens of people that have resolved their chronic headaches with magnesium. Again, do your own research. This is my personal experience. Other signs and symptoms of magnesium deficiency, calf cramps, muscle, leg aches, um, this is why, I don't know if I have one up here right now, I don't. This is why our Road Relief Wellness Pain Relief Cream, formerly Stiff Mother Trucker, have magnesium in them. It is an aloe base with magnesium. This is why. Because when I formulated that, muscle-related issues need to be fed the source of deficiency, which is magnesium. Put it on your legs, stop cramping. Put it on your feet, stop cramping. Game changer. So a topical way to get that magnesium. Um, also heart palpitations, huge connection there. Okay, magnesium can make a big difference. If you're looking for a good magnesium source, you want a recommendation, message me. I will give you, uh, if you're going to supplement, I will give you um, what I would call reputable brands and reputable supplements um, and a couple of different resources for that. But nuts, seeds, avocados, um, leafy greens, there's see a theme here, dark leafy greens, beans, all very, very high in magnesium. But make sure you check your source, where your foods are coming from, um, you know, what, what they're being fed, all of that does matter. But your health is your responsibility, period. And as, as scary as that can be, the second you start doing that, everything becomes available to you. Life can feel hard. And when we feel like we're just beaten down over and over and over again, there's this internal little voice that sometimes that just wants to blame, that just wants to pass the buck for our life over to someone else because we don't want to deal. It's like, ugh, I've been there. But I promise you, if you decide today, today, that you are going to start taking responsibility for your health and life because you deserve it, the sky's the limit, my friend. The sky's the limit. It might take a while to do some undoing. Remember, we need to rebuild the deficiencies so the disease goes away. And that might take time. I've been, I've been trying to do this for years. And I, I, many things are better and it kind of unpeels other layers because I know I did damage to my body and I take full responsibility for that. But now that allows me to make changes. Blaming other people did not allow me to make the changes I need to in my life. 
and I am a million times happier, healthier, on the right track than I ever would have been if I would have went a different way. You have that ability today too, but you have to make the decision. Focus on your big three, physical, mental, spiritual. Every day, try to get a win in that category. You don't need me every day to be able to focus on that. Pay attention to these four, these four vital minerals and vitamins. Are you deficient in them? Do you need to refuel yourself? Focus on what you're putting in your body. Remember, disease arises when there is deficiency. So if I fix the deficiency, that may dissipate some of the other things I'm seeing. Obviously, that's not always a guarantee, but you are in the driver's seat of your health. You are the one that can make the next right decision. You are the reason you should get up every single morning and want to be the best version of yourself because there is only one you here. And my friend, my friend, you are freaking amazing. And so please share out this video if you feel like it's valuable to you or other drivers like you. Show us some love uh, down in the video. That lets Facebook know that, hey, this channel is relevant. Uh, we want more people to see it. Those little things really do go a long way. And remember, it's the small, simple changes that lead to the big results in your life so that you can feel good again. I will be back live next week. And so stay tuned to our page. Have a happy, healthy weekend. Love you all, and we'll see you soon.